Let's get a divorce. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic. No dramatic buildup, no intense shouting match, or... Why beat around the bush? Yeah, you're always right. Right. So what about Nicole? Can we talk about her later? Later? Nicole's the one who's going to take this the hardest. We have to figure out how to break this to her without fucking traumatizing this poor girl. About 41% of marriages end in divorce in the U.S. She'll be fine, like all the other kids who go through this. She's still a human being, Anne. She's so young. What if this messes her up for life? It did. Messed me up, I mean. They divorced when I was seven, and ever since then, I've jumped between two houses that modeled two sides of the same shitty relationship. They've basically ruined all perceptions of a healthy relationship for me, more than just the romantic, even. I was homeschooled all the way up to high school, and once I entered university, I realized they gave me no chance to develop much-needed social skills. Now, into my second year, I not only have no friends, but I find myself not wanting any, either. The independence I relied on from having unstable homes and inconsistent parents have made me comfortable being alone. My mom would always tell me that 41% of marriages don't work out and that our family just falls under that statistic. She's not wrong, but it still hurts to know that. Miss, we're here. Oh, sorry. I was spacing out. Thank you. Want me to bring you anything from the party? Those cookies your mom orders from Lillian's? Their sugar cookies are uncontested. <laughs> Got it. I'll see you, Hank. Oh my goodness, is that little Nikki? You've grown so much since I've last seen you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Your mother is in the main hall, hun. I'm going to go grab another drink. Happy New Year's. Oh, actually, do you know if my dad is, um, around? <laughs> hey, sweetie. Oh, my God. <laughs> you scared me. Uh, yeah, that was the point. Shut up. Nah, sorry, sorry. <sighs> so, how's school been treating ya? <laughs> oh, I get this. When I tell the salesman I can pay it all in cash, he just stands there, mouth open, in shock. Like, did you not expect this? <laughs> wow, she really knows how to put on a show, huh? Hmm. Yeah, she does. To me, my mother's laughter is like nails on a chalkboard. It gives me such a visceral, uncomfortable feeling that I can't help but want to slam my palms against my ears. Everyone else always joins in on my mother's laughter, though, calling it infectious and that they love the sound. No matter if it's friends, family, even strangers, they all love her laughter. But there is one other person who doesn't. One person who understands the facade that comes along with the sound, who, like me, cringes whenever she shrieks out her laughs and turns sour at the sound. My father. To be fair, I probably learned it from him. Sweetie, you alright? Huh? Uh, uh yeah, I I'm okay. You sure? You were just staring off. Anything wrong? No, no, um, I was just thinking. Okay. I'm gonna get some food. Want anything? Uh, did mom get those sugar cookies from Lillian's? Can you get me a couple of those in a napkin? Hmm. <laughs> Fine. But eat more than that, okay? only go by recommendation, you know? So that's when your mom swooped in and basically saved my life. She got me connected with a seamstress on 5th Street and she did wonders to my dress. In no time, she hemmed it to the perfect length and I was able to go to the gala. I owe your mother my life. Mm-hmm. Look at me rambling. I'm sure your mother has told you this story already, huh? Uh, not that I remember, no. Oh. Well. She's probably
probably not the type to brag about her helpfulness, you know? That's how you know you've got a good friend. Let me tell you about this other time. Hello, ladies. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, I need to have a word with Nicole, if you don't mind. It's about school. Oh, yes, no problem. Education is key. I'll excuse myself. Do you know where Nicole's mother is, actually? In the kitchen. I think I saw her last. Oh, perfect. I'll see you, Nicole. To be honest, I last saw her on the patio outside, the opposite side of the kitchen. <laughs> nice. Look, I appreciate the save, but who are you? We go to school together? Yes, uh, but we haven't met before. I work under your mom's firm as an intern. I met her a few times, and she mentioned she had a daughter that goes to the same university as me. I'm surprised I haven't seen you around. How did you know it was me? The huge picture of you and the, your mom that hangs in her office is kind of hard to miss. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Thanks for getting me out of there. I owe you one. You heading outside? Uh, they're going to set off the fireworks soon. I'm going out there now. Eventually. I'm going to go to the bathroom first. I'll see you out there then. Oh, uh, actually, uh, do you mind if I get your number? Um... Can't cash in that O, and if I can't contact you, you know? Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm Jackson, by the way. I'll let you go now. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you since you arrived. Come here and give me a hug. You saw me come in? <sighs> of course. You were talking with your father, though, so I didn't come over yet. How are your studies? Pre-med treating you well? It's going all right. <sighs> you sure you don't want to go into law? You wouldn't have to worry about finding a job. I'm good on my decision, Mom. Hmm. Well... The offer will always be on the table. Need to tell me anything before I go? Uh, not really. <laughs> Should I? Well, Hank mentioned the other day that... There you are, Anne. Countdown is in ten minutes. Everyone is going outside for the fireworks. <gasps> is it almost midnight already? Oh, let's go. Come on, sweetie. Uh, I'll be out soon. Don't take too long or you'll miss it. mom's ring. She must have left it here on accident. I'll just keep it with me. For safekeeping. There you are. Thought you were going to miss the countdown. Of course she wouldn't. If you miss the New Year's countdown, you won't have a good time management for the New Year. Gunnin. Anne, how have you been? Quite well. I heard your firm had to make a few cuts this year. Let's not end this year on a bad note, shall we? Hmm. Honey, did you see my emerald ring in the restroom? I left it on the sink. Uh, no, no, I didn't see it. Shit. Hopefully no one takes it. That was not cheap, you know. Happy, Happy New, New Year's! Year's! Happy New Year's, sweetie. I love you so much. Mwah! I love you. Continue to do great this year, okay? I love you both. I'll try my best. Happy New Year! Nicole? Is that you? Shh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Hey. It's Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, sorry. I'm I'm bad with names. Don't worry. It's cool. You got a lot of books on you there. Let me guess they're Oh. Never mind. What? I was going to say, let me guess they're all pre-law, but looks like I was wrong. Your mom never mentioned you were pre-med. <laughs> Do you talk to my mother often now? Well, no, I, just around the office, or, or when I have to report to her. But both your parents are like big-time lawyers, so I think you not wanting to be a lawyer would be a pretty big deal for them. You do know people can go into different occupations than their parents, right? 
Yeah, of, of course. Just a little surprise, that's all. Anyway, perfect timing that I saw you. I would like to cash in my O. Oh. You don't mean the O from... The New Year's party? Oh yeah, it must be paid. <laughs> so now, not only are you questioning my career decisions, but expecting me to repay a small debt from two months ago. Sounds like a fairly good summary, yes. You know, you've had my number all this time. <laughs> Why now? Uh, to be honest, I, I kind of forgot about it till I saw you. What? Pre-law plus an internship keeps a guy busy. <laughs> um, okay, shoot. What do you want? I want a large strawberry smoothie with honey boba. And here I thought you were going to make a big deal about it. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Uh, do you get it from the campus cafeteria? Oh, oh, no, no, no. We must go to the best boba place in the city to get the most out of this O. And I spoke too soon. <laughs> Where is it? JJ's Boba Central on 2nd, obviously. You probably think the one on 11th is better, huh? Damn, sorry. We're leaving soon. We are? And no, I don't. I've never even had Boba before. <gasps> never had... <clears throat> never had Boba before? Are you even human? Okay, as soon as you're done studying, we leave ASAP to JJ's. You think I could seriously continue studying after all this? So, let's go now. R right now? L like right now, right now? Yeah. I mean, what's stopping you? Um, n nothing, I, I guess. <laughs> hey, we, we, don't, we don't have to go if, if you can't. I, I wasn't being completely serious. No, let's go. I was planning on checking out these books and reading them at home anyway. And now that you're here, you can help me carry them to the car. Win-win. You have a car? Sweet. I was low on gas. I'm so excited for you to try Boba. It's gonna be great. Thanks, Hank. You sure you don't want me to get you a drink? I'll be all right. Thank you, miss. What time would you like me back? Um, in an hour. Should be alright. We have to go back to school anyway to drop off Jackson. Understood. I'll see you then. A driver? Like, he's yours. He can just take you anywhere and you don't have to worry about gas. Stop talking about him like he's an object. No, he's not mine. My parents hired him when I was young, since they were so busy all the time. You never got your license? No, I got it. Hank taught me how to drive. Technically, I can drive myself, but that would put him out of work, so, you know. No, no, that makes sense. Kind of thoughtful in a rich person way. Next in line. Hi, uh, I'll get a large strawberry smoothie with honey boba, please. You know what you want? Um, I'll get the same thing. Medium, please. <laughs> no problem, that'll be 11.15. Thank you, sir. Wait, I'm supposed to pay. It's your first time here. I got it. Here's your card and receipt, and listen out for the number when we call it. Next in line? Hi, how can I help you? I was supposed to pay. Now I have to double O you. That just means the next O will be a bigger one worth two O's. So, uh, what got you into pre-med? <sighs> Can't let that go, can you? It's just, if I were you, pre -law would be a no-brainer. Not only do you have some of the best lawyers as parents, but you wouldn't even need to worry about finding a firm to hire you. You got a golden ticket to a solid career. Why not take it? Jackson, it's complicated. Not from how I'm looking at it. You would not understand. Obviously, I'm not. My parents are just... Both successful hotshots that can't give anyone... I just didn't want to. Oh, is that so hard to accept? Number 36? I got it. He's not wrong. I do have the golden ticket to a set future. And I decided to throw it away. He just doesn't understand what it's like to be between them. 
yes, I have some of the best models to learn from, but <laughs> if I went into law, I would be the one on trial for the rest of my life. They would put me under a spotlight to choose whose firm would work. I would work for. Arguments for why theirs is better, counters as to why the others isn't. <sighs> a never-ending battle with me stuck in the middle. And even more than just choosing whose firm to work for, to them it would be like choosing which parent is best. It's not that I don't want to be a lawyer, it's just... <sighs> Becoming a lawyer means fucking up my family even more than it already is. Here you go. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the stuff I said was insensitive, and you're right, I, I don't understand. I'm not you, and they're not my parents. And I'm sure there's 10 billion other things going on behind the scenes. Wanna just pretend the past few minutes didn't happen? I would be okay with that. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. And I'll have the bagel and lox slightly toasted, please. Of course. I will have all three of your meals out shortly. Thank you. So, Mom, how's work? Work is good. Handling a pretty interesting case right now involving a drug trafficking ring. I shouldn't talk about it here, but you are more than welcome to come to the firm to learn of the details. I'm pretty sure that violates client confidentiality. Precisely. Honey, your talents could be nurtured in law. Just shadow one case. You will get to see firsthand how to... F Mom. <sighs> Honestly, Nicole, are you happy studying pre-med? Wouldn't you prefer... Anne, I knew it was you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Mrs. Hanaki, how have you been? I've been good. Better because of your help. Of course. Your husband had such a clear companion case. There was nothing to even worry about. And is that your daughter following in your mother's footsteps, right? Perhaps in the near future. She's studying medicine. Oh, a doctor. Well, that's not bad at all. It is a good profession. I just think her skill set would be more suited for law. It's in her blood, you know. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I'm coming, I'm coming! <sighs> Sorry, I forgot to pack my charger. You know, camping is about unwinding and getting away from technology, right? You just finished a long year of school. You need to get connected with nature again. Uh, going through my phone does help me unwind and provides me plenty of connection. <laughs> and you can't convince me you won't be taking calls every ten minutes on this trip. Mm -mm, not this time, kiddo. I'm truly all yours. Told the firm no calls till after. Hmm, well that doesn't sound right. What if it's an emergency? Not many emergencies as a blade to be worried about. Is everything okay with the firm, Doc? No, not really. But that's why we're here. We need this trip to get away from everything. Okay? No more work or school talk. From here on out, it's just relaxing and enjoying nature. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about school. Ah, now you're getting it. My dad always had a way with easing a serious atmosphere. It was like he sucked up all the tension around him and made the air lighter for everyone to breathe again. Anyone could count on him to break the ice for any situation. But like my mom, it's just a facade. I mean, it has to be because no one can be that person all of the time. Yet that's all I know him as. Even in a stressful, attention-demanding profession, he always had time to put on a happy face for everyone. I never know what's behind it. I can tell he hides his problems from me. Whenever we approach a serious subject, he puts on his smile and steers the conversation elsewhere. <laughs> Ugh, it's frustrating to the point where I sometimes want to scream at him. I would never do that, though. 
Why would I? Why tear down a happy face just to know it's inside? Nicole. Nicole! Sorry, um, spacing out. You always get so lost in your head. I was asking you about that ring you're holding. Isn't that your mom's? Why'd you bring it? Uh, yeah. She lent it to me. <laughs> I must have brought it with me by mistake. Don't lose that. She'd go gorilla ballistic if she knew you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I won't. Uh, is this part of the beach experience? Uh, of course. I, I mean, it, it is the worst part, but it, it's what makes the rest of the beach so rewarding. Here should be a good stop. <sighs> so much stuff. It's just us here, you know. I will not be hearing it from someone who hasn't enjoyed the beach since they were a kid. Our campus is literally so close to the beach. I've just never had any reason to come. When I think of fun, I don't think of the beach. What do you think of? <laughs> I don't know, just not the beach. Still, since you were six, you haven't come back at all. No, no one's, like, invited you out? Well, it was a time when my parents were still together. I can get why neither of them would want to come back. <laughs> and no, no one has ever invited me to the beach. I don't know if you notice, but I don't have many friends. Do you have other friends? <laughs> oh, shit. That sounded bad. Not that it could sound good, I just mean... I was homeschooled till university, so I didn't have many chances to bond with my fellow classmates. <laughs> You're basically my first friend, Jackson. Is that what you wanted to hear? Not really, but... I do feel lucky being your first friend, if that means anything. I think it does. Thanks. So, you go to the beach often then, I assume? All the time. I'm the oldest of six siblings, so it's hard to find something the whole family likes to do. But the beach? We all love it here. Even before, when it was just me, my parents would take me all the time. Now, once we get to the sand, all six of us can run free and spend hours in the water while our parents relax. Sounds really nice. I've always wondered what it would be like to have a younger sibling. Bet you never get lonely at home. Lonely? No. Annoyed and bothered constantly, yeah. Don't think too hard about wanting a sibling. Outside of the beach, they're little demons that don't respect the value of quiet study time. Anyway, too much talking and not enough swimming. Ready to go? Oh god, no. I think a nice beach nap is in order for the hard work that I've done. Boo. Buzz kill. Thanks for the drop off, Hank. I'll see you later, Mom. Good luck in your classes, honey. To the firm, ma'am. Uh, yes, please. Mistake me if I'm wrong, but was that Jackson Lorena Nicole was meeting with? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. I'm glad my suggestion went wrong. He'll knock some sense into her to join the firm. How's Gannon? He seems to be doing well, ma'am. No, not personally. How's his firm? Last I heard, more cuts. It seems like the failure of the Terry case has diminished his reputation significantly. You know, you really have a loose mouth, Hank. You should be careful with what you tell his competitors. Well, I know nothing malicious will come from telling you, ma'am. What makes you so sure of that? What? What's that look for? You really think I won't use this information for my own benefit? Why not? I know you won't, ma'am. I'd like to have faith you wouldn't do something like that to a person you care about. <laughs> oh, care about, you say. Let's put it this way. You ask about him much more than he does to you. He doesn't ask about me. Uh, no, not that he doesn't, ma'am. Just that Enough, he... please. I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds, ma'am. 
Please message Nicole what time she will need to be picked up. I don't want her to be out too late. Here's a box for the food. Want me to bring the check? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, uh, split checks, please. No problem. I'll be right back. You didn't have to. I don't mind paying. You really need to stop paying for everything. I prefer it this way anyways. Uh, pass me the box? Ah, uh, shit. I don't have any cash for tip. But do you have any? I'll repay you. Oh, uh, check my purse in the zipper pocket. There should be some extra cash there. And don't worry about repaying me. Zipper pocket, zipper pocket. Found it. Oh, and what's a... Stop snooping, idiot. You know, I never pegged you for the gaudy jewelry type. What? Oh, that's my mom's ring. Put it back and stop seeing more than what you're supposed to. That emerald is huge, dude. How could I not see it? So, uh, you getting excited for the upcoming year? <laughs> About as excited as any other school year, I guess. Well, I hope that means super pumped. Still sticking to pre-med? Hey, I'm just curious. Not trying to convert you or anything. Can I at least know why you chose pre-med? Um, I'm not really sure why. Really? It's such a long competitive field not to know why you're pursuing it. Well, yeah, of course it's going to be challenging, but maybe that's why I want to do it. If it pays good as well. Is there at least a part of you that's a little passionate about it? I don't think I'm passionate about anything, really. Oh, oh wait, no, I didn't mean to say... Um... Hey, no need to feel embarrassed by that. I appreciate you telling me. You know I care about you, right? Yep. <laughs> Look, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but I definitely don't think you should pursue a life career without any passion for it. Some people can't afford to put passion first. Can't afford? Tell that to the personal driver waiting for you out front. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your candles. <laughs> no cake for you till after breakfast. That is a huge cake, Mom. It is going to take us forever to finish that. What flavor is it? Oh, there's no way we'll finish this between us. I was just going to bring most of it into the work break room and let them add it. <laughs> The bottom layer is vanilla, middle is chocolate, and top is strawberry shortcake. What flavor do you want most? Ooh, chocolate, please. I'll make sure to keep some chocolate pieces in the fridge. Plans for the day? Besides meeting up with Dad tonight, nope. You know, the firm just closed a case with the woman who owns that indoor skydiving place. I could give her a call and get you in today. You want me to go to an extreme sports facility that just came out of a lawsuit? Uh, good point. Well, your father should count himself lucky then. You really sure you don't want to do anything today? Yes, really. I don't believe it. Nothing. The whole day. You really didn't do anything for your birthday? I just wanted to relax and take it easy. Is that so hard to believe? No, but that's just something you usually want when you're older. Want when I'm older? Huh. Guess I'm old then. If you consider yourself old, I don't even want to think about my age. Ugh. Anyway, since dinner is done... Happy birthday, sweetie! I know it's not that big, but I didn't think a big cake would be right since it's just you eating it. You don't want any? It's all yours. Chocolate mocha crunch. Ah, my favorite. Thanks. You really didn't have to. Of course I do. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get you a present in time, so this is your chance to ask for anything you want. Be warned, I don't think I can get you dresses as good as your mother. You saw that? She posted about it. Custom-designed dresses aren't 
quite my area of expertise. The color is very nice, though. Yeah, I like the green shade. <laughs> Don't know when I'd ever wear it. Not really a casual dress to wear out. Save it for the next huge party she hosts. Now, out with it. What do you want? I don't have anything in mind. Nothing. Absolutely nothing you want? Well, I was thinking... Maybe a car? A car? Nothing fancy or anything. I just want to start driving myself instead of always having to rely on Hank. Makes sense. But... Do you mind waiting a bit? Just to make sure I have the funds together. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll help pay for it, too. I don't mean for you to actually buy it by yourself. <laughs> I can. Uh, I can. Don't worry. Just, uh, just give me time. Okay. Need any supplies for school? That's something I can get help with right now. Uh, yeah, I think I need some new notebooks. We don't have to get it now, though. I don't start till next month, anyway. Sounds good. Call me, and we'll go post-birthday school supply shopping. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? I think that guy outside is calling you. Uh, thanks. <laughs> you can go ahead. Advice for someone who wants to go into law? Public image is pretty important to maintain. That's weird. I thought I heard a pre-med nerd tell a pre-law success how to be a lawyer. Are you inadvertently calling me a failure? Hey, your words, not mine. How are your first two weeks going? Ugh, very extremely busy. I already have an organic, organic chemistry exam coming up. Yikes. Can't say I'm much better, though. I have a seven-page paper due soon for criminal justice. It's exciting, though, right? Can't help but feel pumped for all the new info I'm gonna learn. Um, sure. Sounds like our schedules are pretty busy for the semester. Can't have too many beach days, it seems. But, uh, don't be a stranger, okay? Uh, I'll always be here for you. Yeah. I still need my coffee, though, so I'll see you. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I, I, I got class anyways. Uh, see you around, Nicole. Huh. <laughs> Excited, huh? Hey, sweetie. Hey, Dad. Just going to visit my professor's office hours quickly, and then I'll be home after. Actually, tell Hank to take you to your mom's for now. Okay, uh, for how long? I don't know. Just stay with her. Is something wrong? No, no, just caught up with work. Have to stay at the farm. Yeah, okay. No problem, Dad. I'll see you later. Don't overwork yourself. Bye, sweetie. To your mother's, miss. Apparently. So you know. No. My dad. You know why I can't stay with him. I don't think it's my place to speak, miss. I would appreciate it if you did. Please ask your mother. I'm sure she'll tell you. Fine. Nicole, is that you? Yeah. There's some leftovers in the fridge. Why don't you heat some up for us while I finish up this paperwork? Is Dad okay? Hmm? Dad, is he okay? You know I'm supposed to go to Dad's for the weekend. Did something happen? He got caught up at work, that's all. But that's not all, is it? If he gets caught up at work, he usually just tells Hank to bring me to the firm. Oh, with observation skills and reasoning like that, you'd be a perfect fit to work as... Mom! Your dad seems to be in a predicament right now. What do you mean? Your father told you about the Terry case? One of the biggest technology conglomerates taken down 
from 27 sexual assault allegations. Why he thought he could defend that case is beyond me. Anyway, the loss of the case did some real damage to his reputation. Many of his clients dropped him. Some even went to me. High-ranking people go to us. You know that. It doesn't take long for word to go around when a lawyer isn't preferred. So, so no one wants to work with him? Not just clients, employees as well. Pretty notable lawyers decided to work elsewhere. All this has diminished the value of your father's firm. It, it looks like his financial consultant has recommended him to close down. He was probably going to tell you after everything. What did you say to him? When this happened, what did you say to him? I, I didn't. I, I mean, Hank was the one who updated me on everything. Oh, so you didn't call him to ask him how he's doing? If he's okay? Because you should have, Mom. When he called me, it sounded like his voice was cracking and it was almost like he was crying. Okay, I get it. I get it. I will call him later. You should too, I suppose. Give him a bit of space for now. I couldn't imagine losing my firm. That would be like losing everything. Hello? Ma'am, is this a bad time? No, no, it's fine. What's going on? Another client from his firm is asking for you. Who is it? Joseph McCain, the president of Kane Oil Factories. Jesus, that's a big one. Uh, what's the case about... Actually, no, I can't think about this right now. Schedule a meeting between us on Monday, so we'll go over the case. And keep a record of all clients who left Gennon's firm. Please? Understood, ma'am. Have a nice night. <sighs> That's the sixth one. Six cases. Three lawyers. Gone like that. What the hell? Is there no one loyal these days? I mean, I get it. It was Lionel Terry, for God's sake. But to have a firm close so quickly, to lose so much, I hope he's okay. Did I just say? <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, damn it! I'm sure Dad wouldn't mind. Go ahead, Hank, please. Honey, stop it. If he's willing to tell me... We are supposed to be having a nice brunch. Oh, just because you don't care. Enough. Trying to cause a scene while we're out. Really? Now? Didn't know wanting to hear the well-being of my father was causing a scene. What did I say before? You need to give him space. Three days ago. You told me that three days ago, and since then, he hasn't answered any of my calls, or texts, or anything. Does that not worry you? Oh, no, of course it doesn't, because why would it? Just competition out of the way, right? Stop it! I will not be made out to be some villain! Then stop acting like one! I'm sorry you have to be between us, Hank, but please tell me. What's Dad doing? To be honest, miss, not much. Three days ago was the last I saw of him as well. I had dropped him off at the firm in the morning, to, which I assume is when he had his meeting with his financial consultant. I picked you up in the evening and brought you over to your mother's. I waited for his call to bring him back home, but he never rang. Nothing since then. So, he's been in his office for three days? Possibly. 
He could have requested a drive home or asked someone else to pick him up. As if, not when we have you. We need to check. Honey, I don't know if that's... Please! Fine. Fine. Excuse me. May we get the check now? Locked. I'm sure the security system's on too. Is there someone we can call? Oh, Louise. She opens for the front desk. Maybe she has an extra key? Hank, do you happen to have her? Stop standing there and get in. You have a key for the door and the alarm system. For emergencies, yes. And you just keep it in your purse? Get in. Dad? Dad? Oh, God, I can reckon him. Miss, on the floor in the corner. Dad? Oh, he's breathing. Thank God. Uh, of course I'm breathing. It's what humans do. Oh, I thought you were passed out or something happened to you. Why haven't you picked up any of my calls? Are you okay? Am. Didn't expect you. Here to gloat. Don't say that. Mama's worried too, you know. Worried? Don't bullshit me, Nicole. Not now. Just go with your mom. Go with... Three days. Three days. No one has heard from you. What is going on? Nothing, Nicole. Nothing is going on. No one wants to work with me. I'm done for. Everything I've worked up to, to this point is over. I'm done. I'm done. I'm... You're... crying? <laughs> I've never seen you cry. Never seen you lose your smile. I wish I never knew what was inside, because now that we're here... Now that we're here, I don't know what to do. He's asleep now, miss. Thank you, Hank. Really, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. Especially since she left. If I may, you should call your mother. Perhaps she had a reason to leave. <laughs> and what possible reason could that be? Just try it. Is there anything else you need from me before I go? No, no, thank you. You've done so much already. Just get home safe. Thank you, miss. I'll see you in the morning. You okay, honey? Yeah, yes, I'm fine. Dad's fine, too. We brought him home. Good. So why? Why did you leave, Mom? Hello? I couldn't stand seeing him like that. What's that supposed to mean? It means what it means. Seeing your father on the floor like that, so helpless. I couldn't stand it. I had to go. But he needed us! Please just stop thinking about yourself for one second! Thank you. Nicole, for taking care of your father, you are a lot stronger than I am. Call Hank if you need his help. Good night. Mom. Mom? Food's here. It's your favorite from Lily's. Wonton soup? Dad, you need to get out of bed and eat. While it's hot, come on. Oh, we can go camping if you want. 
to, to unwind and get away from everything. Nicole, wait up. Hey, uh, what did you get up, end up getting on... Whoa. Are you alright? You don't look so good. I'm fine. What do you mean? You just look tired. Have you been getting enough sleep? Yeah, don't worry about it. I've just been a bit stressed lately. I'm sure you heard all about my dad. Oh yeah, things have been crazy at your mom's firm. There's been an influx of clients that came from your dad's. Everyone I shadow are always rushing to keep up. Uh, I'm sorry about your dad, though. I I'm, I'm sure it's tough. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Huh? Nothing. Uh, sorry, Jackson, I have to go home. Also, if you see my mom, please tell her to call me. For sure. But, um, I've actually been wanting to ask you something. Okay. Look, I, I know you're going through a lot right now but maybe I can help take your mind off it. There's a new boba shop that opened on- <laughs> Drinks. <laughs> Jackson, my dad just lost his firm. Sorry, sorry. I just wanted to see if you would be interested in going on a date. Oh, Hank, uh, Hank's waving at me. I really have to go, bye. Are you all right, miss? Yeah, just avoiding some things. Oh, when you drop me off at my mom's, please pick me up in an hour. I'll stay with her for a bit, but I want to spend the week with my dad again. Miss, if I may, perhaps I should drop you off at your father's already, and you can call your mother. I would, but she hasn't been picking up my calls. Do you know if there's something going on with my mother? Not that I know of, miss. Then what do you know? Let's go to my mother's, please. I'm... Sorry, but I cannot do that. And why not? Your mother has instructed me not to bring you to her house or firm. For what reason? She did not give me a, a reason. Honestly. I'm sorry, miss. I'll bring you to your father's. Ma'am, your four o'clock is here. Thank you. Please let them in. Hello, have a seat. So, a defamatory case against your previous employer, is that correct? Yes, and I do hope this case can be resolved swiftly. The failure of your ex-husband has prolonged all this. It's from my understanding that you pulled out your case? Uh, yes. Well, I only wish for a quick resolution. If anything... I give you my condolences. I'm sure if anyone would understand his pain, it would be you. I believe you have a daughter as well? I'm sure she isn't taking her father's collapse. Thank you for your sympathy. But Genin and my daughter are doing perfectly fine. If you don't mind, I would like to keep our conversations purely on the case, please. Of course. Then, let me give you a little context. I worked directly under the Jamison CEO till last March. Up until that point, we've had a good work relationship. Perfectly, then it all went down perfectly fine. Oh, God, what time is it? It took us two hours for a 30 minute fucking drive. Dad, sorry I'm late. Not that you noticed. I have pizza. Pizza delivery. I'm happy you ate half of the noodles. Did you like it? It was a new recipe I tried. Did you take a shower? Wanna do something tomorrow for the weekend? Anything? Anything you want to say? Please?
4 a.m.? Oh, God, I need to change my clothes. Wait. Friday. Friday? Fuck, it's Friday? I thought it was Thursday. No, 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 no. Oof, didn't even start this fucking paper. Shit, shit. Okay. Okay, um, 4 a.m. I have four hours. I can do this. I got a D. A stupid fucking D. I turned in a shit paper and got a shit grade. I have never gotten anything lower than a B, and even that B was terrible to get. Ugh, have I not given enough of myself? Is this the payoff I get? I don't ask for much. No, I don't ask for anything. They would hate me if I showed them this grade. But now, I don't even have parents to care about it. Which feels even worse. Nicole. Nicole? Nicole! Shit! Uh, so sorry, I, I didn't see you. Are you okay? You were kind of breathing heavy. And you look a bit pale. I'm fine, Jackson. Really, I'm okay. I just... I have a lot of things on my mind. If you say so. I'm gonna do some work. Maybe that'll help me focus. Do you remember what I said last time we saw each other? Last time? I know, you know, we don't have to act like you didn't hear me. I just wanted to be forward with you. I, I don't think you should do this. If you want me to go, I'll go. I don't want you to feel... It's not that I, I want you to leave. It's just... So you want me to stay? Well, technically, yes, but maybe we should just... I, I like you, Nicole. And I know you're going through a lot right now, but maybe I can help you through it. I, I want to be there for you. you. You have no idea how grateful I am that your mom pointed you out. My mom did what? Um, she, she just suggested we talk. Said we had a lot in common. <laughs> in common. A lot in common? Jackson, she wanted you to convince me to be a lawyer. That's what we would have in common. I can't believe she set you up for this. Did you know? What? No, 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 no. Nicole, it, it was stop, harmless. Stop, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> it's not like that, I swear. At first, my dad completely shuts down, and then my mom goes silent, and now you... Oh, why do I even bother? Why do I even try? N Nicole, Nicole, c calm, calm down. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. I. Oh shit! Help, N Nicole, Nicole! Fuck! Uh, call an ambulance, please, Nicole. If you go in, stay quiet. Don't wake her up. She just fell asleep. What the fuck is wrong with you? Excuse me? Why is our daughter here? Why is our daughter in the hospital? Why did I get a call at work that our daughter passed out at school? I don't know. You don't know? What the hell do you mean you don't know? Because I don't, Anne. She's been in your care these past two weeks, and you're telling me you don't know? Why has she been with me for two weeks? She's supposed to alternate houses every week, and yet she's been with me for the past two weeks. What have you been doing? No, no, you don't get to turn this on me. No matter what, you're supposed to make sure that Nicole is okay. Just me. I'm the one that's supposed to make sure she's okay. Why didn't she go back to you, Anne? She wanted to take care of you. She wanted to? Do you see where we're at right now? Why did she choose to push herself like this? I don't know. Hank said she was all right. Oh, sorry. I didn't know Hank was Nicole's mother now. And wow. what? You think you've been father of the year? Unlike uh, you, Hank has made sure our daughter has been fed and going to school and alive? That is not his job. No, it's not. It's, it's yours. yours. Ah! 
I lost everything. You more than anyone should know how devastating this is. I came to this country and built that firm from the ground. Built my reputation from the ground up. And the case ruined everything. I couldn't even imagine how I would have been. To lose all that I've worked up to. But that's not everything, Gannon. Losing the firm isn't losing everything. Because our daughter is here. She's alive and breathing and here. I think you better start getting that through your head before you two actually lose everything. Oh, you're awake. How could I stay asleep? I'm pretty sure the pharmacy three stories down could hear you both. How are you feeling? Besides a slight headache, I'm doing all right. Why didn't I come back to you? You never picked up any of my calls. I was gonna see you in person and tell you that I'd stay with dad longer, but Hank told me I not told to. Him. Not to take you to me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I care about your father. I think more than he cares about me. But I was the one who asked for the divorce. And how does that look for me if I get too broken up over him? I had to get away to collect myself again and I guess I was gone for too long I wasn't lying when I said you're stronger than me I can't even face my own emotions am I it seems like facing emotions is a problem that runs in this family what do you mean I think I need help. Help? What kind of help? Let me finish. I was awake before Dad came in and the doctor talked to me. I described how I felt before I passed out and he told me I most likely had a vasovagal attack which caused me to faint. Dehydration and a slight fever didn't do me any favors as well. And when he asked me what could have triggered this, I tried to remember the causes of a, a fainting spell. And I told him it was... It was probably from emotional stress and anxiety. Emotional stress, I get. But why anxiety? What's giving you anxiety, honey? <laughs> it's just... Breathe, Nicole. Breathe. In. Out. In. Out. Just like that. I'm not happy, which is stupid because I have everything I need, but I'm just not happy. I hate my major, I have no friends, and you don't say it, but, but I know you guys are disappointed in me that I didn't become a lawyer. Stop it. <laughs> don't ever say that. We are not disappointed in you. We can never be disappointed in you. And I can't say what I want. Every time I, I try to say what's on my mind, it's like my throat gets clogged up and I, I can't speak and I hate it, Mama. <laughs> you can say anything to us. Anything. <laughs> I, think, I think I need mental help. I think 
I need to see someone. I think we all do. I'll set up an appointment. I will, okay? For you and for... For us. You don't have to do this alone. You'll always have us. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you. I'm here now and I promise I won't leave. I'm sorry I pushed you to this length. God, what the hell have I done? You're here now. You both are. Will... We'll get better. It's almost Halloween. Are you dressing up? Nicole? Oh, sorry. I was looking at your flowers. Acacias are my favorite. Mine as well. I get the seeds at a flower shop local to my house. Want me to get you some? That would be nice. Thank you. You seem to be in a better mood than usual. Any particular reason why? Your notebook. Seems like you haven't written anything since the last time we met. Exactly. I didn't feel the need to write in it at all. Maybe it was just a good week, but there was no moment where I felt like I had to stop myself when I was about to talk. And therefore, you didn't need to write down any times where you felt like you couldn't talk. Nicole, that's amazing progress. Shall I keep the book then? Uh, no, I, I would like to keep the book. Two steps forward, one step back. Still moving forward, though. Always remember that. Oh, sorry. I can put it away. No, it's all right. This is your time to do what you want. What would you like to do with the ring? I would like to wear it. Anything you want to talk about specifically? I officially dropped out of university. I don't know if I want to go back. I, I just needed a break. You were pre-med, right? If you were to go back, would you continue that major? No, no, I wouldn't. To be honest, I don't know what I would want to study at this point. It's not like I hate law, but it's just my parents. <laughs> it doesn't seem like... I don't know. And that is completely fine, Nicole. You don't need to know how the rest of your life will play out. It's okay to take things step by step till you find what you want. <laughs> Still trying to really understand that. And in time, you will. May I ask for some updates from points we've talked about in previous sessions? Sure. Thank you. And remember, if you don't have any answers to these questions yet, it's all right. Were you able to set plans with your mother? I suggested it. Uh, she said realistically, with her work, setting a whole day aside for us once a week won't be possible. But she did say she'll try and spend more time with me, so that's a start. It is. How about your father? Any updates? He's been talking more, which is nice. But it's still been difficult trying to get him to eat, shower regularly, all that. He did ask if I wanted to go camping again, though. It's too cold to go anytime soon, so I offered we could build a fort in the living room. <laughs> he said he liked that. <laughs> it's small, but I feel like that's progress between us. Of, of some sorts. <laughs> don't forget to take care of yourself as well. We don't want another repeat of the hospital. Thanks. I always make sure I have time for myself, too. I try to go on more drives now, not rely on Hank too much. The silence is nice in the car. It helps me de-stress. That is a known technique to alleviate stress. Almost as if you're driving away from the place that causes you tension. 
physically and figuratively distancing yourself from the problem. Any other ways you care for yourself? Do you go out with your friends? Uh, no. I don't have many friends. Any, really. Sorry if that touched a nerve. We can move on. Oh, it's okay. I, I think I want to talk about something. I had one friend at university. He was very outgoing and extroverted compared to me. Sometimes it was too much, but the friendship was good overall. He brought me to places I hadn't been before, and we did what I would consider normal friends would do. I knew he liked me a little more as a friend. But I would just hope he would, you know, get over it. You didn't like him like that? No. I never did. I never had with anyone, really. So, something happened that stopped this friendship? He kissed me. Also admitted that my mom was the one who put him up to be my friend. And at that point, things were changing too much, and I felt like I didn't have anyone to turn to. Sort of a tipping point for me. I see. Did you have an interaction with him after? He sent a text apologizing that he was pushing himself on me, said he hopes I'm okay, and that our friendship wasn't just some made-up scheme for my mom. Do you want to be friends with him again? Maybe. Like I said, I liked his company. Past the flirting, he was a good friend, I'd say. But... I don't know how I'd feel if I saw him now. How about... We set a goal for what you want to say if you do see him again. To perhaps rebuild a friendship on a more solid foundation. <sighs> Damn, this shit's heavy. Great. You dropped this. The Intern Blues by Robert Marion. <laughs> Sounds sad. <clears throat> I'll, I'll go. No, wait. <clears throat> um, I liked our friendship. I liked how you pushed me to try new things. You're a little much, but I like that too. <laughs> I've never had a friend before, though. So, when you flirt with me, I didn't know how to say I didn't like it without ruining our friendship. I just don't like you like that. I like us as friends. So would you... Or does us just being friends sound okay? I'm Jackson, studying pre-law. You? Um, I'm Nicole. I used to be pre-med, but I'm taking a break from school, actually. Just dropping off my books. Oh, nice. Guess I won't see you around campus, then. You heard of JJ's Boba Central? Yeah, that's my favorite boba shop. <laughs> Would you like to meet up there sometime? Sure. Wanna pick me up? Um, I'll drive myself there. You drive? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Uh, sounds good. You know, hypothetically, if I did know you before, I'd say you've changed a lot. Well, hypothetically, I'd hope it was a change for the better. Yeah, it is. I never particularly liked anything about myself, though I never hated anything either. I felt like this fluid vessel that fit whatever was needed of me, and because I didn't adamantly dislike that, I didn't say anything against it. I mean, appeasing everyone avoids any conflict. But that left me empty and hollow of the stuff that makes me, me. 
I was whatever my parents wanted of me and nothing of what I wanted to be. <laughs> Most likely because I grew up not wanting to be someone in the first place. But it's different now. It's like I can breathe without someone telling me how to suck the air back in. And even though it's still empty and hollow inside, I feel like I can fill that space up trying to find the stuff that's going to make me me. And I like that about myself. For the first time, I like something about me. Even now, I feel that space inside getting smaller and smaller. <gasps> Hank! Oh, hold on. Hello, miss. Glad you made the drive here safely. Same to you. You look quite nice. <laughs> Thank you. The dress your mother gifted you looks very elegant. May I escort you in? Of course. Oh, Nicole? Sweetie, I feel like the last time I saw you was last New Year's. I think it was. Excuse me, miss. I shall step away to eat. Your mother is in the main room. Do you mind giving her the drink? Sure, thanks. Hey, Mom. Oh, honey, I'm glad you made it safely. I was about to call you. Oh, okay, okay, I'm gonna spill your drink. Sorry. How are you feeling? Good. I feel good. And how are you? Excited for the new year? Time for new opportunities. Couldn't agree more. Dad, I didn't think you'd come. Didn't plan on it, to be frank, but I couldn't start the New Year's without you. Glad you got cleaned up. You almost look back to your former glory. Hello, Anne. You look very pretty tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to entertaining my guests. <laughs> Nicole, make sure to grab us before the countdown. Grab us? You need to stop teasing her. Why? It's funny. Stop it. <laughs> hey, how was the drive over? Car treating you well? No brakes or weird sounds or... Nope, none of that. The drive was nice. I like driving myself now. Good to hear. I know it's not the nicest of cars, but one day, maybe. It gets me from point A to point B with all my limbs still attached. It's perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'm really glad you came. Like your mom said, it's time for new opportunities. I want to take this chance to be a better dad. You shouldn't have gone through what you did these past two months because of me. I wasn't the adult I should have been. I know that now, and I'll be better for you. Be better for yourself, too. Yeah, it was tough then, but I wouldn't change anything. I feel like we all learned something after everything went downhill and came out better in the end. At least, that's how it feels for me. I cannot wait to see your future, kid. Whatever you decide to be, we'll be right there to support you. Right back at you, Dad. Here, party poppers for you and your parents. Happy New Year, Nicole. May I have one? Oh, <laughs> you snuck up on me. Y yeah, here. Sorry to grab you so abruptly, but I couldn't help but notice when you gave me my drink earlier that you are wearing my ring. And if I remember right, I lost it exactly one year ago today. Oh, um, yeah, it's your ring. I kept it. Any particular reason why? I I'm not sure. I just felt like I needed to. I'm sorry I took it. Here. Honey, if you want to use my jewelry, all you have to do is ask. Keep it. It looks nice on you. Matches the dress, too. Perhaps the time has come for that. Thank you, sir, but I'm here for the long haul. Which you've been. Let's talk about it more later. It's not off the table. I appreciate it, sir. Have a happy new year, everyone. You too, Hank. I told you he wouldn't accept it so easily. Who wouldn't grab a chance at a paid? 
early retirement. Retirement? Hank has done so much for us. Sometimes been the parent we needed to be. He deserves to relax now. What do you think about that? That sounds nice. We'll still have brunch with him, right? Of course. If you don't mind, I'd like to be invited to those as well. Hmm. How about a trade? We invite you to our brunch. You invite me to your next camping trip. You. Camping? Uh, you know what? On second thought, I... We would be delighted to have you. <laughs> <laughs> have any wishes for the new year, honey? No, no more wishes or expectations. I'm just excited for whatever comes in the new year. Very well said. Happy New Year!